Hello, welcome to this week's paint tutorial. I'm going to be painting the Reaper Narthrax Dragon. Um, and I pre shaded the model a good couple of weeks back uh, before I got any contrast paints with the intention of airbrushing on the top coat. Now, I thought that it would look a little stark if the contrast paints just went straight over the top of this. So I airbrushed in some Phoenician grey, as you can see I'm doing here, pretty much all over the model. Um, just really trying to get uh, get all areas covered um, but again leaving enough for the contrast paints to work on uh, the wings as well got a bit of uh, extra paint because they really did look quite stark just to make them you know have something to for the contrast paint to sort of go over so you can see I'm just blowing in very thin layer of Phoenician grey over those just just to sort of avoid them being too stark too black and white Next step is some darker Phoenician grey and I'm just adding that to the body of the dragon, the leading edge of the wings, again just to provide a colour contrast when the contrast paints go over the top. The paint itself was really quite dilute because obviously it's been pre-shaded already and I wanted that to show through. So with the airbrushing complete, a uh, coat of contrast Talisar Blue was added quite liberally all over the model, it was quite a, quite a thick coat. Um, just to really get in the crevices, bring out the detail and complement the, the airbrushing that I'd done in the previous step. This was had to be left to dry for quite a while. Uh, it takes a bit longer to dry than normal Citadel paints, but um, it really went on quite nicely. Next up was adding some contrast athematic blue over the wing surfaces, a thinner coat this time, making sure that the center of the wings was, uh, you know, pretty much had very little paint on it you can see I'm taking some off there uh, and uh, a thinner coat than the previous contrast paint this is applied to the upper and lower surfaces of the wings so the contrast paints allowed to dry overnight I did the first layer of dry brushing with some Fenrisian grey which is obviously using the first painting step um, this just helped bring out the highlights obviously the the um, contrast paint and dulled down the finish so this is applied pretty much all over the model obviously areas uh, that will catch the light so it's the top of the shoulders and the back received extra dry brushing but it's just an all over coat just to bring out the detail next step a lightened coat of Phoenician grey was just applied to areas you can see there just such as the claw the wing roots the shoulders just again areas that would catch the light just to accent um, what had been done already with the dry brushing process I thought the demarcation between the wing membranes and the body of the dragon looked a little weak so I mixed the two contrast paints together thinned them with a the thinning medium and added just a very thin pin wash just along these, along these uh, sections. It's been very sparing. Try not to draw a line as such, just blending it with my finger as you can see there, um, just to really, you know, differentiate from the two finishes. But the dry brushing really brought the detail out nicely, but I wanted to really make them really contrast the scales. So I did a glaze of Gilman Blue, one of the Citadel glaze paints, just in the recesses of the scales. You can see I'm just doing it around the legs, did it basically anywhere where the shadows would fall just to really accent the difference between the dry brushed areas and the recesses next up the bones were painted using Arthurian grey as opposed to my usual Le Shabdi bone because it had a really nice blue tone to it which really set the model off nicely this was left to dry overnight and then a wash of army paint of blue tone was used just really concentrating on the kind of roots of the bones right on the edges just to really bring out the detail this worked okay um, several coats were added but I still wasn't 100% happy with the overall finish I thought it looked a little weak and the color was maybe a little light so what I did is went back again and added some more Gulliman blue glaze to the roots of the uh, spines on the back the bones and the claws so on and so forth and this stage was repeated throughout the build just to really provide as much contrast as possible so once that had dried overnight a uh, dry brush of Arthurian grey was added to the leading edge of the spines and the tips and it looked really nice it was the effect I was after really complemented the washes that I'd done the night before so this was done on pretty much all the bone structures to provide a universal finish the claws required several goings over they were quite tricky to get right 
um, but I was overall quite happy with the effect. It just took um, a bit of going back and forth and adding some subsequent washes just to really bring out the detail. The final step was adding a white scar highlight, very sparingly, just right on the tips of the claws and the, the spines. But this really helped bring out the detail. You can see it in the, uh, the video here. It just really makes, you know, adds the finishing touch. And again, I'm using this very sparingly. Um, you don't want to kind of overwhelm the base colors with the white. It's just where they catch the light effectively. So while waiting for all this to dry, I applied a wash of um, Agrax Earthshade over the base. Uh, the overspray from the pre-shade just purely by accident had provided quite a nice rocky craggy appearance so this wasn't painted in any way, it was left as is. And you could see it produced a nice contrast to the uh, blue of the model, it really really brought out the blue. So next up some selective washes of Gorman Blue Glaze were added around the eyes just, just to really bring out the final areas of detail. The model's pretty much done, so I'm just going over any areas I miss, such as the claws at the backs of the wings, um, any areas that I just think could do with a bit of extra emphasis that might have got lost over the dry brushing process. So the final stage is adding some very fine highlights with white scar, just very sparingly to yeah, the edge of the scales maybe where they catch the light area that got lost maybe in some of the washes and the uh, dry brushing see the nostrils are just receiving a very fine highlight there it's just the final step just to bring out areas of detail again just provide accents the next step was obviously to use a darker wash um, in this case the citadel chaos black and go over areas around the eyes um, again the insides of the nostrils anywhere that just needed an extra bit of um, highlighting just to bring out the final details in the model. Again the eye received extra treatment because of that's a focal point, <laughs> no pun intended, and um, anything else I thought was appropriate. Now unfortunately I didn't realise that the card of my camera is full up when I did the snow and mud section but I'll leave a description of the products used in the video description. So here's the finished miniature, I'm really pleased with how it came out. I think the pre-shade base and just adding a bit of colour over the top of it with the contrast paints worked really well. I was really pleased with the two different shades of blue, the one on the wings and the one on the body, and the dry brushing really helped highlight this. So um, once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And thank you for the comments and suggestions that people have left. It's really appreciated. So um, I shall see you next time. Take care.